Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be melting down all of these aluminum pool tabs that I've gotten off of soda cans and some alcoholic beverages. But before we get melting them down, let's get a weight including the container. And we have 4.15 pounds. In today's video, I'm going to be melting down this aluminum using the Viver 12 kg propane furnace. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I have an affiliate link in the description below. One link for the 12 kg and the other for the 6 kg. You know, some people like to start out with a smaller furnace. It's time to load up the crucible with those pull tabs, but first I need to empty out any of the crusty aluminum that are still inside the crucible from my last melt. This is something a lot of people ask me and it's quite simple. You basically just pry the edge and pull out the old crusty aluminum. And now I'm left with a clean crucible. So back in the garage, it's now time to load it up with as many of these pull tabs as we can fit. The crucible is pretty large, but it actually only held probably about half the amount of pull tabs that were in the container. So let's load the crucible in the furnace and start melting down these pull tabs. Now that it's warmed up, I'm going to turn on the other burner to give a little bit extra fuel. Cooking now at 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit. It's time to turn off the fuel and start adding more pull tabs. I'm going to be doing this a few more times during this video, so I'm not going to be talking through the entire video. So guys, please just sit back, relax, and enjoy the process of melting down the aluminum pull tabs. This is it, guys. This is the last of the pull tabs I have for today's melt. Let's load these up. I'll melt them down, and then we'll skim off the dross or the slag that's on the top, and we'll get to pouring the molten metal. Now surprisingly there was quite a bit of dross or slag that floated to the top. At first when I tried to poke it with this graphite stick I thought it was solid but that's why I started scraping at it to try to push it to one side to allow me to easily scoop it out with a spoon.
I noticed there was still some molten metal in there that would not come out. So what I'm going to do is scrape out some more of the dross and then pour the remaining molten metal out of the crucible. All right, guys, here we are with two awesome ingots created by melting down some pool tabs. It is quite amazing that a container filled this size with pool tabs melted down only yields this much metal. That's a lot of empty space. And then we have to add the dross to the container. And again, look at all the empty space So now let's get a weigh-in. I'm actually surprised on how much slag came out of those pull tabs. And that's 1.03 pounds of slag. So let's see what we have for good aluminum. And this is 2.58 pounds of good aluminum. And guys, I have plenty more pull tabs left over. So there may be more videos in the future. 